Did you ever experience an upgrade in your flight status? I mean, you didn't expect it, you didn't ask for it, you didn't even pay for it. I remember flying from Tokyo to Hong Kong a few years ago. My wife and I had bought the cheapest tickets that we could find since we were on a missionary adventure and we had a very limited budget. But when we walked up to the check-in counter, they told us that they were sorry, but their system had accidentally upgraded our tickets to first class. But not to worry, since it was their mistake, there would be no extra charge. They said they were sorry. For what? For upgrading us? They didn't need to be sorry. Soon we were sitting in first class eating fancy food, flying above the East China Sea, enjoying our status as first class passengers. It was quite a treat and we took it as a token of the Lord's love for us. And that brings us to our Bible verse for the day, which is found in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19, which says, now therefore you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. The Apostle Paul is writing from his prison in Rome, and he's writing to his new converts, Gentiles who were living in Ephesus. I can imagine what an incredible impact this must have had on the new believers, to know that they were accepted and loved. In earlier passages, Paul writes, remember that you, once Gentiles in the flesh, were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. What's the difference between being a foreigner and a citizen? If you've ever lived in a foreign country for an extended period of time, you'll know what it's like to be a foreigner. The first two years that we lived in a certain country that we were doing missionary work in, we were on business visas. This meant that we had to travel to the border every three months to renew our visas. Every trip we had to make included a very long, exhausting train ride. Then one day we met the vice mayor of that city that we were working in and we became friends with him. Later on during our friendship, he received Jesus as his savior. During one of our times together, we asked him if he could do anything about our visa situation. And to our surprise, he agreed to help us. He actually had the power to change our visa status. And that's exactly what it says in our verse for today. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints. From one day to the next, we had proper long-term visas and we didn't have to do anything for it. It was all by the grace and love of our friend, the vice mayor. No more long visa trips. We were allowed legally to stay in the country and our new permanent visas brought many other benefits. Being a citizen of a country brings many freedoms and privileges, and citizenship in certain rich countries is coveted by people who live in poorer countries. Some people even pay millions of dollars to buy citizenship. So let's get back to Paul, who tells us that we are now fellow citizens with the saints. He was writing to make sure that we knew that we were now fellow citizens. He writes, for you are all sons of God through faith in Jesus Christ. And he says, you are no longer slaves, but sons and heirs of God through Christ. And in the second part of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19, he says that we are of the household of God. We, as Gentiles or unbelievers, did not only become citizens of God's country, the kingdom of God, but we also became members of his household. Aren't you glad that you are part of the household of God and a citizen of the heavenly kingdom? And if you haven't already accepted your citizenship, well, I urge you to seriously consider doing that by making Jesus your savior. You don't wanna miss out on all the privileges of being a citizen and part of the household of God. And that is our Bible verse for the day. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we'd like to extend this invitation to you right now.